Hello everyone! Good morning! This is Teacher Eileen. I'm so excited to share with you our lesson for today. How about you? Are you excited also? Do you have a clue? What is our lesson for today? Okay, correct. It's measuring tools. Let's start it! Here are the objectives of this lesson. First, measures objects using appropriate measuring tools in meter or centimeter. The second one, estimates and measures length using meter or centimeter. Let's recall first our lesson last time. What is length? Length is a measure of how long an object is. It is also used to measure distances. The common standard units for measuring lengths are centimeter, meter, and kilometer. Let's see if you still remember the use of centimeter or meter in measuring objects. What is the correct unit of measure for the following objects? First, the length of this bed. Is it meter or centimeter? Correct. The answer is meter. How about the height of this house? That's great. The answer is meter. Do you know class before? We use our body parts in measuring the length of objects. That's why we have this non-standard measuring tools to measure length. Let's take a look on this picture. Measuring the length of table using our hands. Is it possible? Yes, we can use it. So that is one example of non-standard measuring tools. So we use our hands as hand span, foot, foot length, even our forearm, we use it also. Aside from our body parts, we use also other objects to measure the length, such as a piece of string, hairpins, straws, pencils, erasers, paper clips. Let's take this example, measuring pencil using paper clips. First picture shows that this pencil is five paper clips long, while the second picture shows that this pencil is three paper clips long, but pencil is the same length. That's why this method are not applicable to use because it doesn't give accurate results. That's why we have this standard measuring tools to measure length. When we say standard, it is accepted and internationally known and used. First standard measuring tool is ruler. Now, let's find out how to use this ruler and read the correct measurement. Do you see the shorter lines in between longer lines? It represents millimeter. 
longer lines represent centimeter. That's why in every one centimeter, that is equal to how many millimeter? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten millimeter in every one centimeter. Let's take this example. How long is from this point up to this point? Take note and measuring length or reading the measurement using ruler, you will always start at zero. So the starting point is at zero. So from this point up to this point, that is two centimeter or two cm. How about this example? From this point, from zero up to this point is half centimeter. Or if you will read it using millimeter, mm means millimeter, one, two, three, four, five. It's five millimeter or half centimeter. Next example. From zero up to this point is, the answer is three centimeter or three cm. Ruler comes in different length. First is five centimeter ruler. Other is 30 centimeter ruler. When do we use this ruler? It is used to measure the length of objects which have little dimension like crayons, eraser, and pencil. Another measuring tool is meter stick. This meter stick is 100 centimeter long. Why it's called meter stick? 100 centimeter is equal to 1 meter or 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter. That's why it is called a meter stick. It is used to measure objects with longer length. Example, to find the height of this door using meter stick. One meter stick, two meter stick. So how long or what is the height of this door? That is 200 centimeter or that is equal to 2 meter. How about the length of this table? How long is it? Okay, it's 100 centimeter long or equal to 1 meter. But not all can be measured using the ruler, like this one. Measuring the cloths before sewing it and getting our body measurement. The next measuring tool is tape measure. Why do we use this tape measure? So it is used by the tailor to measure the length of cloths. Okay, Ben wants to measure the following objects. Can you help him? First, the length of this whiteboard. Okay, the answer is 3 meter or 
300 centimeter. The next one is the length of this mobile phone. Okay, correct. The answer is 7 centimeter. How about the height of this tree? Okay, what is the answer? Correct. 4 meter or 400 centimeter. Let's summarize our lesson today. The standard tools in measuring length. We have ruler, meter stick, and tape measure. Okay, kids. Until here. Bye. See you again next time.